On 29 December 2019, Project Lionel Proctor, an NGO volunteer, made a posting on his Facebook account where he allegedly making derogatory comments, insulting the institution of the king and the Islamic religion. He was charged under Section 233, Subsection 1, Paragraph A of the Communications and Multimedia Act 1998 and can be punished under Section 233, Clause 3 of the same Act. Meanwhile, Deputy Public Prosecutor and Siva Shangari asked for appropriate punishment as a lesson to the accused and the general public to be responsible for communication on social media. Freedom of speech is one of fundamental human rights. In the free society or system, freedom of speech is the basic pillar of it as the principal sine supports an individual or community. Freedom of speech is important in order for an individual or community to articulate their opinions, ideas and thoughts without fear of retaliation, censorship or recollections. However, as a responsible citizen or netizen, we must keep in mind that it is important to use our freedom of speech wisely or you will have to face the consequences of legal action taken against you. To link this issue in freedom of speech, Project Lionel Proctor, a 14 years old NGO volunteer, insulted the institution of King and Islamic religion on his Facebook account and was charged under Section 233, Subsection 1, Paragraph 8 under Multimedia and Communications Act 1998. He is also ordered to pay the fine of RM5000. First one is Foundation of Democracy. Responsible freedom of speech is the cornerstone of a healthy democracy. It allows for diverse perspective, critical discourage, and the exchange of ideas essential for societal progress. However, it's crucial to exercise this freedom responsibly, considering the impact of our world on individuals and communities. So, the second one is Balancing Rights and responsibility. While individuals have the right to express their opinion freely, it's equally important to consider the consequences of our speech. Uh, responsible freedom of speech involves balancing the right to express oneself with the responsibility to avoid spreading hate speech, misinformation or inciting violence. Upholding this balance fosters a more inclusive and respectful society where dialogues and debate thrive without causing any harm. When it comes to roles of media, I believe that the main points are to disseminate information, education, and for entertainment purpose. For example, some media to disseminate information including news or press release, radio, and newspaper. Meanwhile, the use of digital media in education allows students to access useful information, communicate, and interact with the materials given by using laptop, TV, smartphones, and tablet. Apart from that, Media or entertainment industry consists of film, printed press, TV, magazine, music, and books. When we use the media, we must abide to the media regulations that is provided by Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission to avoid illegal action taken against us, just like Rajiv Lionel Proctor's case. Media regulations in Malaysia is controlled by Malaysian Communication and Multimedia Commission and CMC. There is Communication and Multimedia Act 1998, where Section 233 of Multimedia and Communication Act AKM 1998 is stated and also charged by the court to wait Rajiv Lionel Proctor. So not to mention, there is also Printing Presses and Publication Act under it. So simply put, the rules of media regulation serve as the main guideline in the media that differ across the globe. In addition, this regulation takes action via law, rules or procedures. <laughs>